Hello and welcome back to this new coding challenge. Today we're going to be doing a second part of the previous coding challenge. Um, we're basically going to do a Sudoku, okay, with a recursive backtracking algorithm. But um, for that we're using another method. It's quite similar, but we're going to use JavaScript, uh, especially uh, the framework P5JS, okay. So as you can see here, that's the version I just created right now before I made the video, just to make sure I know how to do it. And and uh, as you can see, there's backtracking. So what's going on here? Well, um, we're calling a number, and then it's going to backtrack again to get a, a, you know. If you haven't watched the previous video, which I coded in C, uh, which is a low-level language, so I think it's quite, you know, quite interesting how I do it in a high-level language and a low-level language, okay? So this is more. This is what it's going to look like. Instead of just um, a creating a C program, which is going to print, uh, just the result this is gonna give us the we're gonna see how the program is managing to solve a uh, this Sudoku okay and this is what we're going to build okay so um, say goodbye to it okay because I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna refresh so as we have we have a canvas for 500 uh, 450 pixels height and 400 pixels 50 wide okay so that's it and the color is 51 if you don't know how p5js works I recommend you to go to my series of um, getting started with p5.js which I explain how everything works it's basically a framework for JavaScript so I can't really go through it really fast like you know I can't really go through everything I do because it'll be really difficult and the video will be really long so I'm gonna assume you know what p5.js is and how it works so um, we have a Sudoku right and we want to show here little cells okay with the numbers well, for that, I think we can create a function and we can call it cell. There we go. And this cell is going to take a few parameters. It's going to take an A, a B. It's going to take an I, which is, you know, you, you see what I mean? And we're also going to take a parameter number, okay? Each cell is a little square, isn't it? So we can say this dot A is equal to A. This dot B is equal to B this does i is equal to i and this does num is equal to num okay so we're going now so i want this function to show us a square okay a little cell and it's going to be nine by nine it's going to be a grid so we're going to create a function we can say um we can say a uh, no fill we want it to be stroke so the stroke is the border and we want it to be white okay so we can differentiate one by another so it's going to be a rectangle it's going to be a rectangle which is going to take this dot a this dot b a 50 and 50 okay so 50 divided by 50 multiplied by 9 is equal to 450 so we're going to have a perfect grade i already thought about this but i already made it so um okay so let's see how it goes so we have a function that says this dot show okay so if we create here a new variable called var cell is equal to an array and opening now is a for loop and we're going to say var i is equal to zero i has to be less than 81 because it's 9 by 9 is 81 and i plus plus Okay, so what do we need? We need to we need to create cell i is equal to new cell, and the cell is gonna be a, b, i, and also we need to pass the parameter num. Okay, so for the moment num we don't know anything about num, do we? So let's just say we want a random num. Actually, no, it's grand. So what we can do is a uh, to pass each number each cell. We can pass Sudoku, okay? Sudoku has an array of numbers, which is a proper Sudoku, uh, which is not solved. Um, so we can say Sudoku i. That means it's going to pass first the first element, to the second cell is going to pass the second element, the a, so, you know, and so on and so on and so on. But we have a little problem. What's a and what's b? a and b is going to be the location of the rectangle, okay? So uh, we could say it's an x and y, but the problem is uh, JavaScript only has a... Um, 1D arrays, it doesn't have 2D arrays, so instead of passing an X and Y value, I is going to be, so we need to keep track of, here will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you know, and so on. Um, 
so I and B is gonna be the position of that thing, okay, of the little rectangles, just to make it look better. So what we can do is we can create a new variable here. We can say um, var a is equal to zero, var b is equal to zero. So if we were to now run the program, nothing happens, and that's because we need a for loop to show us in the draw function. So var i is equal to zero. I has to be less than 81. I plus plus. I know I could have copied it, but why not? Um, cell I dot show. Okay. And again, if you don't know what I'm doing, then watch my previous videos or the series I have. So there we go. That's a square, right? But we want to be here, 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 here. So how do we do it? Um, a, we're going to take it as the x value, and B is going to be our y value. No, I said it wrong, didn't I? Yeah, A is x value, y is B. B is y value. So what we want to do, we could just say with granular cell, which a is zero, and then we can say a is equal to a plus fifty. But now we have a little problem, right? It's all gonna be in the same position, isn't it? And it's gonna keep going on and on and on. And we want to go to the next one. So how do we go to the next one? We can say if um if b mod yeah no you know if a mod 9 is equal to 0 then what do we do from b to be equal to b plus b plus 50 but we have a little problem do we it's not a is i okay so if i is mod the 9 i i mod 9 okay go to the next one so we have a tiny problem again that is going to skip the next one and that is because um we also have to check if i is not equal to zero okay because a um, zero mod nine is equal to zero okay so i is not equal to zero okay so this should do or mm, is equal to zero so i mod nine is equal to zero B is equal to ah, and also a has to be reset to back, okay? Because a has to go back here, so a is equal to zero. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, we have a grid, don't we? We have that. Um. Also, another thing we need is we have we want to put numbers into this grid, don't we? So what I should do is now put a number. So we can say fill two fifty five. Okay, that's gonna be the color white of the number. And we can say text size um, 32. I already know the numbers, okay, so I don't have to be keep trying. And also a text, and we can put number. Um, mm, you know, I actually forgot. Yeah. First of all, it should be this and num. And also. Oh, I think it should take parameters x, y, and so it's going to be a, b, and this the number. Nope. So you know what we do when we don't know what to do? We go to Safari. Don't we? Oh, you're in Safari already. So, um, uh, p5.js. Now let's see what the function looks like. We could say reference. Okay, so that's how I look for functions for p5.js if I'm stuck. Okay, so that because um text. So you gotta take parameter. Okay, a and b, x and y. Okay, so it's gonna be this dot num, which is the number, a b, and if we run it now. Jesus. Oh no, because I call the function text. Okay, text size. It should have been text. Okay, we have the number, and if we want to be, oh Jesus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's a little problem here. Um, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 3, 0, 5. Zero, 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 three. I don't know how this order is, order is working, but it's not working how I'm how it's supposed to be working. 
Well, let's just try to align it first. So what we could do is A. Oh, it's shifted down, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is shifted down. And it's also 0, 0, 0,0305. 0, yeah, okay, so it should be A plus. So A is the X value. So I want to shift it this way, don't we? So A plus 20. Let's see how it looks like. That's in the middle. I could say 17 instead. I think that'd be better. It's because I'm really fussy. Okay. And now B should be B plus 50. Let's see how this looks like. Um, and also, we're having a little problem, don't we? The last number is not showing. And it shouldn't be 50. Yeah, we can just say 30. How about that? Um, no, how about 40? You know, this is just keep trying numbers until it won't fit. Oh, yeah, that seems grand. And 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 9. It's all shifted 1, isn't it? 0. So we're having a little problem now, which I don't know what it is, because it should be working fine. Like, that's showing the number properly, so the function is grand. The problem we're having here is this thing here. For cell is i, Sudoku i, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hmm. You know. I think it has to be, it has to do with the squares. I think, I think we could put this function here and see how this looks like. Okay, that's grand. We have it. Jeez, this video is going to be really long. Okay, so oh, I don't know how to look how many minutes I've been recording this. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we have our thing. Now we need functions. So we, if you haven't seen my problem, my, um, what's the name? My video of, of how to do this in C, I would highly recommend this. So we're basically going to do, I'm going to explain it uh, quite fast. We try the first number and we say, okay, is it zero? It is. Okay, try one. Does it fit? It does fit. I hope you know how a Sudoku works. Um, this is my ears. I need to get my hair cut. Anyway, so we got to one. Is one going to fit in here? Well, you can see no, 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 no. It doesn't let you have one because in the little square there's one. Okay, two, try two, no. Three, no. Four. Oh yeah, it doesn't let you put four. So it's going to put four and then it's going to go to the next one. It's going to push it to a stack, okay, and it's going to say, okay, next one. And it's going to keep trying, trying, trying. It's going to go to the next one. And if it reaches number nine, like 10, we're not going to put it, we're going to set it back to zero and get back to the previous number. Okay, so we have to pop it. That's why we're going to use the functions pop, push and pop. Okay, so I think the best idea would be to stop the video right now. Okay, and no. Okay, in this video, I'm also going to explain a functions.js. Okay, that's a little file I created. And if you haven't seen the video, if you haven't seen the video of the C, okay, how I made this in C, it's basically the exact same. There are just functions that are going to return true or false. So it's going to return this function here, same square, it's going to return true. If we pass a number, we pass the location of it, and if we pass this location, it's going to pass, it's going to return true if the number is, you know, if the number is that exact number we're looking for. So we're looking for number five to put here, okay? If five fits in the same square, so here it wouldn't be because there's no five in this square, then it's going to say, okay, return false because it's not the same one if there was if we try to put a three because it's a three in this square okay then it's going to return false and then we have the same one with the same row it's going to check for the row so if we were trying to put one here it would let us because you know row it will return false and if we're trying to put two because it's a two in the same row it's going to return true and same with column it'll be the exact same but in this position okay that's just functions and i'm going to upload this file in to somewhere but i want to put the i want to put the link in the description okay so you can look at it but that's basically what i'm going through okay that's just functions that's it okay i, I go through them in my c program i made you know the c video i made in you know how to solve sudokus i uploaded it a while ago i think anyway well i haven't uploaded it yet by the time i'm making this video but it'll be uploaded by the time you're watching this video Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop this recording now, okay, and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to do the meat, you know, we're going to get to the meat of the problem. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.